Hey love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be a makeup haul from Drugstore, online, and as well as that, as Ulta. So the first things first, I decided to finally get the Morphe palettes. I've heard or rather seen loads of videos on YouTube raving about Morphe palettes. I really didn't feed into it because I thought that they were just like the Coastal Sense palettes. They kind of look like all the palettes that you see besides Coastal Sense. So I just said, you know, the pigment, the payoff is probably exactly the same. So I just passed out on it and didn't purchase it. I finally got around to getting it. I got a 20% off coupon code online. And I actually do like the cosmetics a lot. They're a little bit more intense than the actual Coastal Sense palettes, which means they're more pigmented, which gives a lot better payoff. So the actual entire look that I have on today on my entire eyes is all from the Morphe palettes. I also did pick up some brushes because they were on sale and if you girls know me really well I do love makeup brushes. I have a huge collection and I've always liked to try different makeup brushes. So the first thing first um, are the makeup brushes. I only picked up four of them because I do have like a huge collection of makeup brushes but I did use a lot of them except for one. This one here is the black handle one, and this is the B81, which is absolutely fabulous for blending and into your crease. So I did use this on my eye today. The entire handle is black, but the bristles brush is really super soft. The next one, which I just tend to use to place concealer under my eyes to highlight, is the M332. This one is also soft, but I like it a lot better for just placing concealer and blending it in. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of it for putting it as a blending brush on my actual eyelids. Now this one here, which is a really precise, great, smoky under eye for your waterline, is the G19, which is a chrome finish handle, tire chrome finish handle. And it's a really small brush. It has like two tones here. And I did use this to smoke out the bottom portion of my waterline. Along with that, this one is amazing. This is my favorite one, and this is the M562. This is a great blending brush, and you can get right into the crease. It's not a lot of overspill, meaning it's not your product is not going to get all over your lid when you're trying to blend it into just the crease. This brush is amazing for that. It's super tapered, really small, and it just handles really well. So I did get the Morphe 9 Contour Powder um, Palette, and the package is just really simple. And this, like I said, comes with nine different colors. Each of them are really intense. The colors that I use on my eyelids, I did use one of these for my brow highlight, which is the yellow color. And I didn't want anything too bright, so I decided to use the yellow. And just to set my concealer on my highlight area, I always use this one right here, which actually brightens it up a lot better and really packs a punch. Like this is long wear um, conceal, not concealer, but long wear powder formula. Like it really does stay on for a long period of time if you're wearing it. There are other colors. This is a pretty highlight, which is like a champagne color. And then there's just the three different contour colors. Now I'm not like a huge fan of these contour colors because I like to use more or less like a reddish brown or brownish, more, more warmer brown tone. These are kind of cool tones, so the contour colors that I like to use are more warm tone. But other than that, the palette is really, really a nice palette. Now onto their 35K eyeshadow palette, which was, I think it was like $19. These are also warm colors. If you're a neutral girl and you love neutral shadows, then I will highly suggest this one. These colors are so intense. And they're just so pigmented and rich in color that they are a must-have. This palette is like really, really a must-have. There are different collections to the Morphe palettes. But like I said, I really thought that it was actually very comparable to the Coastal Sense or just the other palettes. And I was really impressed when using these. The only downfall is one of them came a little bit cracked, which is no big deal. Um, I don't think I could ever go to pan on all of these shadows. So I wasn't really too concerned about that little mishap right here when getting it in the mail so the shipping was really fast i think it took like a week for my products to come and i was like excited couldn't wait for them to come and, oh and if you're wondering about the hair that i'm actually wearing today this is nubian bars kinky straight hair and i did make it into a unit a wig unit and this is in the color 10 tint but the only problem or it's not even a problem but if you're looking for something with dark roots because as you can see my roots are dark um, on my closure as well as on the top portions of my bundles. I actually did it like that. They come to you as one solid tint color. 
so I actually went ahead and did it myself and I will place the video below for the full tutorial on how you can get your clothes just like this super easy really really step by step you won't make a mistake at all now for my brows today they're a little bit lighter than normal is because of the hair color that I'm actually rocking so I decided to use this here which is an online purchase this is Votre Vu, Votre, I think that's how you say it, Votre Vu, and this is their French accents. This is the Arch de Triumph, and this is the actual um, gel or eye, eye, eyebrow definer, which is basically a pomade and in the color Fair. So it's like a brownish color, and I did mix it in a little bit with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate just to give me a little bit more color. This is, like I said, fair, so it is creamy. It is a creamy texture, and what I do is I'll let this sit onto my brows for a few minutes because if you don't and you just start blending it in with your brush, it will kind of like disappear so i would highly suggest of getting this to let it sit on your brows for a few minutes before you start to brush it in and define your brows with it but for the most part i do like this product a lot the consistency is really soft and the color came out well and like i said it lightened my brows a little bit more more than i like to wear the chocolate which is darker and i just wanted something that would match the hair color a little bit more now onto the drugstore purchase if you girls know i love like inexpensive makeup i love all makeup so it really doesn't matter what the price is but i try to do videos where they're super affordable to everyone so I got the wet and wild contour palette and this is Deche Luce it's called the color is Dolce de Luce and it just comes with two different colors one is for the highlighting and one is for the actual contour which I did use on my nose as well as my cheeks today really affordable you can pick this up at any drugstore as well as you may be able to get it from Target and Walmart but yeah wet and wild has really changed a lot through the years of me being a child like they really revamped their website as well as their actual makeup products. On the back, it does give you instructions of how you can actually use this product. So if you're looking to contour, you want to start out contouring, I would highly suggest giving this a try. It's really affordable and you won't feel too bad if you're not, you know, using it all the time. Because like I said, it's really, really affordable. Some other Wet n Wild products, Walgreens had this amazing sale. It was buy one, get one half off and the products were on sale. So I did go out and get like a whole bunch of the Wet n Wild lipsticks and this is their matte lipsticks now for these matte lipsticks they don't dry your lips out so you're not looking all chalky and dry at the lips but I did get five colors and more or less I'm more of a neutral kind of person but I did get a um, couple of different colors that were a little bit darker than normal so this one here is the mocha licious and it's like a brownish color And if you're wondering, does it stay on all day? I'm not going to say it's entirely long wear, but it will last you a nice, decent amount of time. The next one is Sandstorm, which to me is like a kind of between a mauve and a like brickish red color. One of my favorites, which you know, I love like that light lip. This one is called Bear It All. It's kind of like... I would say in between like a mauve and a peach color or a pink color. Vamp It Up, which is more or less very dark. You can just tell by the title, like very dark eggplant purple. This would be great for like fall, but if those of you like myself who don't really care about the seasons and you just want to wear the color, then it's just perfect for that. It's a spotlight red. Now this one kind of reminded me when wearing it, it kind of reminded me of like when I put it on my lips, it kind of reminds me of like a fuchsia color. So it looks really, really bright right here. And I was going for more or less a darker color. But once I seem to wear it, it seems like it's more of pink tones in it. It's not one of my faves. Ooh, the Wet n Wild Matte Velvet Lip Colors. These are more or less like crowns. And the colors are so soft. They're retractable pencils. And I actually have both of these on my lips today. Like I said, I love neutral colors. So I had to get these. They were on sale as well at Walgreens. This one here is called Looking for Truffle. So Looking for Truffle is a really pretty color. And it kind of reminds you of the colors right here in the beginning from the lipsticks, which are kind of close in comparison. And then this one here, which is more or less the nude color, is Nude Streak. Now, I would never attempt to wear this by itself alone because it's very very light um but it's a gorgeous color and if you see it's very light but it's a very very pretty color 
So I like to use this as more or less like an ombre color to blend in other colors and give my lips like a different kind of dimension ombre look. It also can help my lips look a little bit fuller. I also did get the bronzer by Remo London from Walgreens, which is their natural bronzer. One thing about Remo, they don't have a lot of colors for women of color when it comes to foundation. So I was very bummed about that. But I did get this Sun Bronze color. It's called Sun Bronze. And it's more or less there. To me, it seems matte. Um, I'll just use this to contour with. I think I paid like $2 for this. It, normal price was $4.19. Um, I don't really care for the cap because I do like the caps to kind of like be stuck attached to the actual pan. So that way I'm not losing anything. It's not breaking easily. But the power of the actual color does come out really nice but like i said i'm not really like a huge fan of their foundation selection a huge sale but there was no colors for not even my shade my skin tone so then i decided to pick up this remel stay matte um, facial primer um, my skin is really oily sometimes so I decided to give this a try now the first day it worked really well but then I noticed that once I apply it it gives me like these dry patches throughout my entire face so I was not too pleased about this I would have to put this on first I'd have to put on a moisturizer and then I'd have to put this on to kind of alleviate the ashy tones which it does leave behind now it does help with the actual my face staying matte however I don't like the um I don't like the payoff that it gives it's just very dry and I don't like my face to feel tight so I did give this a try and on top of that I went ahead and got the Nivea Men Sensitive Pulse Shave Balm which a lot of people have been using on YouTube for those who have oily skin now it did work for me for like a couple of days but then once again it stopped working a lot of products for me it seems like it'll work like on day one on day two and then after like day three and four it's like, forget it, girl. You just try something else. So I'll, I'm going to say between these two, I would have to use them together to get the full effect and get the actual look that I'm going for, which is non-oily looking skin. Now onto the makeup store, Ulta. I love Ulta. I, I do get a lot of points from there. So I was able to get a couple of items, well, one item for free. But they had their huge, like, 21 Days of Beauty, I think it was, where you can get a lot of different products half off. Each day, there were different brands with half off of the actual prices, which was like, okay. I made a point to get there when they had the Too Faced blushes on sale. So, I did get their new blushes, which is the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. And, for one, I love Too Faced because their products are just amazing. And their packaging is so cute. So, this one right here comes in this cute little heart shape. And it's basically three different colors in this um, blush. Warm tones, very bronzy, so you can use it either as a highlight or a blush, either way. But the color payoff is gorgeous, and like I said, I love Too Faced. So these are normally $30. I got them for half off, which was great. There are three different colors in the collection. I did bring all three up to the table or the counter until the lady told me it's only two per customer. So I had to kind of like pick and choose. And for the next one, I went with this one here, which is more of darker colors. And this one is called Something About Berry. Oh, and for this one here, I almost forgot. This one is Peach Beach, which is warmer tones. So this one is more or less cool tones, very bright colors. If you can see, there's three different colors here. I don't use this one as much because I don't like a lot of bright blushes on my skin. Um, sometimes I just feel like I'm kind of like doing too much. So I use this like sparingly, very lightly when I do use it. So being that I couldn't get three blushes and I did have some credits or basically some points, I went back and I got the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlight, which is their dual highlight. Now there's two of these in the collection. I can't really remember what the other one was, but these are like some really pretty colors. I do have the both of them mixed together on my upper cheeks right here as a highlight, as well as my nose bridge. It does come with a mirror and like I said, very pretty colors. Hope you guys can see that. This is a little bit lighter and this is more or less like a champagne peaches color and this is more or less like a off whitish color. Really pretty. This was also $30, so I got $12 off because I had like $12 in just like a rewards, if that's what you want to call it. For more highlighters, 
Now, I did show you on my last makeup haul, Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer, which is at Ulta, and it's $6. So I got the highlight this time. This highlight, girls, is, like, amazing. This is a gorgeous color. It's called Golden Lights, and it probably looks really white or bright on camera. But once you wear it, oh, my God, the color is, like, so pretty. Very, very pretty color. And it does have long-lasting power impact. You can wear this for some hours. And you'll still be highlighted to the gods. So these um, are $6 at Ulta. There's different types of bronzers and highlights by um, Revolution London Makeup. As well as eyeshadow palettes, contour palettes, concealer palettes. They're really inexpensive. So if you're looking for some inexpensive makeup with like really intense colors, I would highly suggest giving Revolution London Makeup a try. I'm not really sure if they're sold anywhere else, but I do see it a lot at um, Ulta. I was fortunate to get a um, gift card from... Too Faced um, for the peanut butter and jelly palette when it first launched. So the day it came out, I was there to pick up my palette, which I'm going to tell you this much. This stuff is like the best eyeshadow. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette out of all of my eyeshadow palettes. It has like this really great peanut butter chocolate smell, but the colors are so rich, so intense, so just pigmented like you can wear this I believe like any skin tone could actually wear these colors they're like absolutely gorgeous um, I did do a makeup look on this actual palette so I will post the information for it below but it smells so good and I haven't seen it in the store since the day it launched but it is available online from Ulta this is an Ulta exclusive palette only so you're not going to be able to get this at Sephora um, you probably can get it on eBay but just be aware that people that sell these on eBay will mark the price up significantly so I would just basically get it from Ulta if I were you guys I also got one of their older palettes. It's kind of older to me because it's been out for a minute, which is the Chocolate Bomb Bomb Palette. So this one does smell like chocolate, and it's really cute, but I'm going to be honest and say I'm not like a huge fan of this actual palette. Um, it just more or less seems like other colors that I've used in different other palettes or just different single brands. Um, there are two colors in here that I really prefer, which is the Bordeaux and the Cafe Olay. Those are like the two main colors that I will use out of this palette. Other than that, the palette kind of strikes me as, I'm going to be honest and say, a little bit boring. I will do a makeup look on it. I have done several makeup looks on myself, not on camera with this palette. But if you're interested in this palette or you've been wondering about the palette, I would honestly say there are others that are a lot better than this one like their um, new one which is the peachy eye palette which I am dying to get I have my timer set for April 6th so that I can get it on April 7th when it comes to Ulta um, unfortunately the day came out which was on the 29th I think it was of March I totally forgot and I was going to go to Sephora or online Sephora and purchase it because I have a gift card for there and it was sold out, out of stock. So the new peachy palette, it smells like peaches. I did find it on eBay, but I'm not about to pay $120 for an eyeshadow palette that's 50 bucks. So like I said, if you go to eBay and also on Amazon, you will see people selling those palettes that are really hard to find for like triple the price. And if you just have a little patience, you can wait it out and get it for the normal price. Now, being that I am the huge Too Faced junkie, I did get their humongous brush, which uh, mascara, which is Too Faced Size Queen. I absolutely love this mascara. The wand, the brush of it is super huge. So with this application, it doesn't take much. Your lashes will look flawless like as soon as you apply this mascara. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say it's waterproof. It's not, but I'm not really worried or concerned about that. But the fact of the matter is that the brush is so huge that you don't have to put more than like two coats on it. If you want to do more than that, it's great. The bristles are separated so your lashes do not get clumped together. But the color payoff, the intensity, the volume payoff is really worth this actual mascara from Too Faced. So being that I spent over, I think it was $34 um, on Too Faced with Too Faced products, I was able to get, I think it was called um, Pretty Girl something. It was a free um, Too Faced package, and it came with these three products, which I'm in love with. This is one of their other mascaras, which is better than sex. So this one I only use on the bottom portions of my lashes because the other brush, this one here, is too huge for my lower lashes. Like, I can use this, but I kind of like... 
fall back from it and I'll use the Better Than Sex. Now the brush on this one is really nice as well. So it's really um, a full brush and it's great for like small lashes, inner, inner corners and lower lashes. So I do like this one here. Now would I buy this um, once this runs out? I probably would because it does make your lashes really, really full and you don't need a lot of coats with this. Now, I finally found a facial primer that works for me and I've been using this for like a week now and my skin has not become oily so I will be buying the full size product of this here which is the Love, uh, which is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Facial Primer. Um, this stuff is so good for my skin. It's made with coconut water and it really has helped my skin um, kind of dull down so my makeup lasts a lot longer with this so like I said it's I'm oily skin and this has been working for me a lot. So this and um, these two, these three products came as a freebie. And this is just one of their blushes, which is the Love Flush blush. And this is called Hangover, which I do have on my cheeks right now. This will last me a minute, so I'm not really concerned about getting the full-size product. This is really cute. You could take it with you. There's enough in here to last a while. So those three products were like a must-have for me. A facial mask, which is $1.99 at Ulta. There's like an array of different ones. They have the ones that just actually peel off. They have the ones that are kind of like the paper mask. And then they have the ones that you have to wash off. So this one is the um, Seven Dream Manuko, Manuko Honey Peel Off, um, $1.99. They, like I said, have a bunch of them. So if you love facial masks, then I would highly suggest checking these out. Sephora, I've never seen any that are really inexpensive, like $1.99 at Sephora. Normally they're 5 bucks. So for $1.99, I was able to get a few of these that I've already used. Also, also had all of their lipstick products on sale for three dollars. So I was like amazed. So I got, I think I got five of them. So I'll show you girls them. This is the sun tanned, sun tanned lipstick, and these are more or less neutral matte colors. Super light, like almost blends in with my skin. Bronze Beauty, Perfect Nude, which is right here. You guys see I stay into kind of like the same colors regardless of the brand. Yes, that's me. Simply Natural, which I wear a lot. And it's the very lightest one at the end. I'm not really sure the color, but it's number 224. Like a really light one that barely shows up on my skin tone. So I did get those, which was from their sale, and I did go to Sephora and get one thing, which was the Kat Von D Ink It Eyeliner in color Trooper, which is black. This is one of their marker eyeliners, and oh my god, I freaking love this. I love this eyeliner pencil. The, um, the brush tip is super fine, so it makes it so easy to go on, especially for me with hooded eyelids. Um, sometimes I cannot get my eyeliner kind of even. Uh, so this has been like a big, huge help. I love marker pens like this. I have one by Milani, which is my favorite, and it ran out, dried out. So this one here. The color, though, is really dark. You do get a lot of product. I've noticed, like, with other marker pens, you have to constantly go back over the darkening. With this one, you get a lot of product that comes out. It's not, like, spilling out, but you get the marker tip wets itself enough to where you don't have to re um, reapply it. You don't have to go over it. So the last three things are from an online purchase as well, which is by D. Bonnet, and this is their matte lip colors. If you girls have seen, I've done a makeup swatch for them. This is their new colors, and I had this on, this one here, which is the truffle one, which is chocolate truffles in a recent Instagram shot. And this is a very pretty rich brown. Now these lip colors will stay on all day. They're matte lip colors, but they're not drying and chalky looking. But let me tell you, you have to really like get yourself a wipe and take these off. Like they do not come off that easy. The makeup applicator is just like so. And it's this very pretty color brown. Oh my god, when I say these stay on, these actually stay on. In the bare too. Which is like this really pretty color pink. And you girls know this is like my favorite color. I love lipsticks that are this color. And the last one, which is like a brick red. Oh, wow, I forgot. The label fell off on this one, but I'll find out and I'll let you girls know. A really pretty like dark vampy red.
Now, the cool thing about the bonnets is um, I have, um, we have launched or we have worked, collaborated together for a, a matte lip color, which will be my statement color. So I will be showcasing my own lip color by Di Bonet. Um, it's a color that I chose and I decided I wanted to do colors that I wear because why make a color like this color red if it's not what I wear. So the colors that I came up with are more or less neutral colors that you would see me wear and that will be launching really really soon so stay tuned for that because I will be showcasing that in a, in a, in a video to come very very soon in the future. So I'm really excited about that because like I said we collaborated and I was able to choose a pick the colors that I wanted to pick and kind of like work on this with them together and I just think it's really really important if you want to do a makeup line especially if you're going to collaborate with a makeup company you want to do something that you will wear not just something that you think is going to sell but something that you would wear per se so for me you guys know I love like the neutral lips and pink and like mauve colors and so I think it was really really important for me to just launch something with them that more was in my color field so I hope you girls love the colors that I came up with and yes like I said I will be showcasing that very very soon to come so that was basically my makeup haul for this month um, and if you girls have any suggestions for oily skin of what kind of facial primers you use, please post your comments below. And other than that, let me know if there's any um, specific videos that you are interested in me doing and post that comment below. And as well as always, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay Diva and Divalicious, and I'll catch you girls on my next video.